Hello friends, welcome to News You Can Eat 24 and the Geography of Taste. I'm Chef Walter. The region featured in this episode is Sicily. And as always, we present a region of Italy and offer suggestions on the most important food of the territory. There'll never be enough uh, time to speak about Sicily. It is the largest of Italy's islands and certainly has its own feel and culture. And if you ask someone who grew up there, if they are Italians, the answer is no, sono Siciliano. With ancient customs and tradition famous the world over, locals are very proud of their heritage. And that makes visiting Sicily a unique and magical experience. For lovers of good food, Sicily is a must visit. Walk around the cities of Palermo, Catania, or Messina while eating deep-fried arancini or satisfy your sweet tooth with some freshly made cannoli. Pasta comes in a variety of different ways. The most emblematic is pasta alla norma, which is often served in Catania, but all across the islands, and that was inspired by the great Italian musical genius Bellini. And it's made with eggplant, and ricotta salata and a wonderful tomato sauce. And so, after the pasta alla norma, let me see. Another dish that comes to mind is pasta con le sarde. Con le sarde meaning the island's treasure of the sardines, paired well with the wild fennel. It's also home to some of the world's best pistachio, which are harvested every two years, and they are from Bronte, an area which is inland from Catania. And so, in many of the other dishes, there are also pine nuts and raisins that are visible, especially the famous couscous. And the pine nuts and the raisin are Sicily's connection with the Northern African countries, as well as the Arabs. With a history and culture that would take a lifetime to discover, architecture that's unlike anything else that you have seen in the mainland, and some of the best examples of country cooking in the whole peninsula. Sicily is an incredible destination for anyone looking for a holiday rich in good food, good wine, and good culture. And so for this episode, I chose the arancini as a feature specialty. First question that comes to mind is the shape. In the city of Catania, they are conical or pear-shaped, resembling the peak of the Mount Etna, which is also an active volcano. The name Etna derives from the Greek word haitho, which means to burn. Not only will Sicilians disagree about their essential ingredients and their proper shape, depending on their region, they will even dispute their gender, which determines how they are named. So, uh, let me give you just an example. Sicilians will argue if they are made male or female. And appropriately, in Palermo, these deceptively simple balls of saffron-flavored rice are molded around tasty morsels of a good meat ragu, peas, and tomato, and considered to be feminine version. And so they are called arancina, with an A at the end. If there's more than one, they are called arancine in a plural form, okay? But if you travel to Catania, they are thought to be masculine, and so they are called arancino, with an O at the end. And a pair of more of them are called arancini, with an I at the end. Anyways, the debate will continue, as you know. We Italians spend more time on identifying food and its importance than anything else. Well, no, maybe shoes and fashion. So, and that is all for this episode of Geography of Taste. I have uploaded an original recipe for arancini from Palermo. And if you go to my blog, you can download it and you can begin tackling this. And you can really lure on these wonderful street food snack. Okay? Make sure that you use a good oil when you fry them and good quality ingredients. Okay? So follow us on our YouTube channel on the Chef Walter Cooking School, which is this one here and subscribe to our podcast, Flavors and Knowledge, on your preferred platform. We're going to chat next time as we travel through Italy, featuring the greatness of another region. 
Thanks for watching. Ciao. We'll see you next time.